everybody this is Sherry with CPR craft pray repeat and I wanted to share something with you this is the kit that I got from BB craft and inside the kit it comes with a silver and bronze toppers and then it comes with these tiny little glass baubles they're really cute they're a lot thicker and sturdier than I thought they were going to be and I can tell you that I dropped one on the floor the other day and I heard it bounce, 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 bounce. And it did not break. It did not chip. It held together great. I couldn't find it because it's clear. I'm legally blind. And so that posed a small problem for me. But as soon as my husband got home, he found it easy peasy. And so this is what, how the kit comes, and then I'm going to show you what I made with it. I'll be right back. All right, everybody. This is as tight as I can about get, and they really turned out adorable. I've got the toppers here on. You can see the silver one here and the bronze one here. Now, I do have a jump ring on this one because I've got it started for a project. These are absolutely adorable. I used the star confetti that I got from BB Crafts. I also added some pink seed beads that again came from BB Craft, and I'll link all of that in the description box for you. I added some micro beads. Now, I can't even begin to tell you where I got those from. I'm guessing it had to be eBay because I bought them like years and years and years ago. And so I added those in there, and I really think it turned out adorable. Now, this one has the stars from BB Craft that has the centers punched out, and then I added some of my own mixes that I had here at the house. And I mean, they're just, I love how they turned out, absolutely love how they turned out. And I'm hoping that this is clear enough for you guys to see. I really wish I could zoom you in a little tighter. But I love them. Let me put the other one up here to see. And on these ones I did pinks. And just this one just a pink and white. And then this one has different shades of pinks. But I will definitely be doing some for Christmas. And I want to do some with red and green seed beads and I have um, seed beads from BB Craft that come in that color. I also have, um, I'm going to try to add a little bit of glitter. I wouldn't recommend adding the glitter to it if you weren't going to put the micro beads in because I think it would just, they would just, you know, adhere to the static electricity on the inside of the ball. But I think the micro beads would be enough to knock it off. So I will be trying some like that, and I will show them in future videos. But I just thought these turned out so cute that I wanted to share them with you so that if you were interested in making some on your own, you could definitely go and get them. Now, I didn't fill this one as high, and I probably could have added a little bit more. I did put in a tiny bit of seed beads, but not near as many as I did on this one. And what I did was I made myself a paper funnel. Where did I put my funnel? I don't remember where I put my... Oh, it's right here. I made this, um, just this tiny paper funnel so that I could get my things down into the hole. And then once I got everything in that I wanted, I put my finger on top of the hole and I shook it really good to mix everything up. And I put a tiny bit of E6000 all the way around the hole, then put the topper on and then held it for just a second till I was sure it was, you know, going to stay in place. And I did these before I went to bed, so I left them on my desk, I set them all up in a little row, made sure they were all sitting up, went to bed that night, got up in the morning, they were dry, so I didn't have to worry that, you know, because if it had fallen over, then my, my insides could have gotten the glue on them, and it could have either stuck to the top, or they could have clumped together. 
So I would just say, you know, make sure you do them somewhere where you can leave them set. And I left mine overnight, which I knew would be, you know, a a reasonable amount of time for the E6000. You could try super glue, or not super glue, but hot glue. But I can't get a small bead of hot glue if my life depended on it. So this, this worked for me, and I know the E6000 is not going to come off. I, I really couldn't tell you about the hot glue, but if, um, you know, if you're better at getting a bead of hot glue than I am, then, you know, that may be a quicker way to do them. And I've seen these sold where they're already pre-filled, but I like that I can make them match, especially if I'm doing a shaker and I want to add a little bobble or bells or whatever. I can make it match my shaker or whatever project I'm working on. So that was the deciding factor for me in getting these and getting them empty so that I could do them um, to match whatever project I was working on. But I won't keep you guys. I will link everything in the description box for you so that you can go and get them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Remember to practice your CPR, craft, pray, repeat. Thanks for visiting me today and happy crafting. Love you all. Bye.